Time for Plan B. Where is Bugs? Bugs Bunny. You know him? Oh, I know him. Bugs Bunny is the worst man I've ever met. Bugs Bunny is a saint. That's what he'd have you believe. Let me guess, you met him on a tennis court? Oh, <gasps> unbelievable. Let me give you a little piece of advice. Girl to girl, if you don't want your heart shattered into a million pieces, you'll break up with Bugs Bunny today. Couldn't you do this on a wig head? No, head down. Bobs are very intricate. I need to see how the hair moves. Shake it out for me. Stand up for me. It's impossible to evaluate with you in that shapeless smock. Maybe this will give the illusion of a waistline. Ugh, you are one ugly woman. But that haircut's got class. <gasps> class! Who is that ugly woman leaving Bugs' house? <gasps> She's getting in Bugs' car? Sorry I'm late. You want your bugs? Why are you dressed like a woman? Huh? Ah, oh, Daffy was practicing cutting hair. You know, nice bob. You make kind of an ugly woman, though. Why does everybody say that? I think I look beautiful. Pinky, who's your dance partner? She's such a beautiful woman. What? Uh, oh, no. Cappy, finally, someone with some taste. Mm. Told you I was beautiful. Where did you get that dress? I thought Kathy deserved something a little nicer than a smock. Ooh, and look how pretty it twirls. All my years of teaching, I have never seen such grace, such beauty on the dance floor. Thank you. I was talking to Kathy. Too bad I have a strict rule about dating my students. <laughs> Good thing for that rule. <laughs> okay, dokie, everyone. I'll see you next week. Uh, you, you sure will. Uh, I'm gonna practice every day. Mm. Yeah, whatever, Pinky. Until Monday, Kathy. I'll be counting the seconds. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. So, how are things? <sighs> oh, I don't know. Complicated. Talk to me. Get this. My dance teacher has a crush on me. What's complicated about that? Well, A, I'm not interested, and B, I'm taking the class as a favor to a friend. But now, with all the weirdness in the air, I, I don't want to go back. Listen, girl, don't let this teacher get under your skin. You made a commitment to a friend. You gotta follow through on that commitment. You're right. You're so right. You know what else is right? The amount of volumizer I used on your perm. It, 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 an, an, another new dress? It's the last class. I want to look nice. Can I get everyone's attention? I just want to say it's been a pleasure being your instructor for the past few weeks. You have all come so very far. Of course, some of you have come farther than others. Now, let's dance! Hola, That's a beautiful dress. Bugs, you're supposed to let him let me lead. Just shut up and dance. Mmm, good cupcake. Oh, there's Porky. There's that woman. <gasps> Bugs' mistress is cheating on him with Porky? Poor Bugs. Speedy? What is going on up there? No, 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 no. Pinky, you're supposed to be the deeper, not the DP. You're the man. Kathy's the woman. A woman unlike any I've ever met. Look, I'm flattered, but I'm also... Bugs. Senor Bunny? 
Bugs' mistress is actually just Bugs in a wig taking a dance class with Porky. Oh, right, he said that. I signed up to be Porky's dance partner, not to be the target of your incessant flirting. I mean, I certainly didn't help things by looking so beautiful. Beautiful? Who said you're beautiful? You did. I was just being nice. You're, you're clearly the most unattractive woman in the class, so I was trying to make you feel better about yourself. It's called overcompensating. Claro que no. Unbelievable, this guy. Ay, mira, no te dije esta cosa. Este hombre hablando así. <laughs> Why? No! <laughs> eh, sorry, Pork. Lola? Hi, Bugs! Oh. I'm okay! The cupcake broke my fall! Mmm. Still good. Doing a little home improvement? Oh, you know. Just tinkering with a few little projects. Nothing big. Just replacing the ceiling. An entire wall. Most of the floor. Maybe put in a new support beam or two. That'll be $2,865.43. Say what? And I thought it would be bad to be dressed as my favorite peach. Oh, that must be Viola. Bugs obviously got the looks in the family. Viola? <laughs> That's me. Oh, it's like I have a sister. Where's Bugs? Oh. Uh, he dropped me off out front. Mm, couldn't handle a long goodbye. That is so him. You know, underneath that cool exterior and all that sarcasm, he's just a vulnerable little bunny in need of a good cry. Oh, yeah. He wants to cry, all right. Now boarding flight 787 to Albania. Well, uh, you guys should probably get going. Oh, wait. I, I made you these uh, traditional Albanian dumplings for the flight. And I got you this Albanian flag. Well, it's a Mexican flag. They didn't have an Albanian flag. It's probably in the ballpark, though. I can't believe we all just met and now you're going to Albania. I can't believe I'm going to Albania either. This is the final boarding call for flight 787. Look at me, going to Albania. Make sure you look out the window when you take off. Emily will be waving. Of course you will. Problem. Welcome to the Coffee Hut. My name is Becky. How can I offer you excellent service today? I'll have a cappuccino. Okie doke. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, looks like the machine's not working. If you'd like, I can upgrade you to a regular coffee. I don't know how that's an upgrade, but okay. Okie doke. Oh, you watching the playoffs? No. I really am in a hurry. Okie doke. Oh, you know what? We're out of coffee. Oh, forget it. If you like, you can come back tomorrow, sometime between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Too bad he didn't also find a better script. Oh, Humbone. It looks like it's just you and me this Christmas. Oh, Humbone, where is Santa Claus? Well, if Rick Evans didn't kidnap Santa, then where is he? You weren't supposed to use the trapdoor. Really? But it took a lot of effort to put on a play this bad. And if there's one thing that's worth the effort, it's Christmas. Look. What are you wearing? I don't know about you, but I'm getting a student discount. You're driving? You always drive. Let me drive. I'm not going in that thing. It's not a thing. It's a parade float. 
It'll take us 18 hours to find a parking spot. I'm driving. You think you get to make all the decisions? What are you, the man in the relationship? We're not in a relationship. Well, guess what? I'm a man too. And today, this man is going to drive you to the movies and buy your ticket. So you can just leave your wallet and keys here because this man is wearing the pants today. Oops, almost forgot my purse. Come on, you big log. You're really gonna buy my movie ticket? Of course. Here, put these on. Is this a diaper? Baby's getting free. Oh! Daffy, that was a stop sign. Relax. I have a way with cops. Oh, hello, Officer Jerkface. I didn't recognize you away from the donut shop. I guess you can't catch real criminals, so instead you just harass innocent citizens. What a waste of my tax dollars. Can I see your driver's license? My what? Just give me a driver's license. What's a driver's license? You don't have a driver's license? Sir, you're not allowed to operate a vehicle without a driver's license. Please step out of the car. I'm going to have to have it towed. Towed? But I'm just an innocent schoolgirl, and this is my baby brother. Put on the diaper. You can get your vehicle back when you get a driver's license. You're going to scratch it. Oh. <laughs> ah! One ticket. I'm a student. Sir, please. Flight attendants? You know there are male flight attendants. I like the height that the heels give me. To fasten your seatbelt, place the flat metal end into the buckle and tighten by pulling on the strap. Your seatbelt should be fastened low and tight across your hips. <laughs> Don't forget your coat. Hope you got a good rest. Okay, ladies, we're in New Orleans. What do we do first? What are you talking about? What do you mean, Bourbon Street girl? Let's ditch these heels and have some fun. Daffy, we have to fly back to California. We have 20 minutes to clean and prep the cabin for takeoff. But it took six hours to get here. It'll take another six to get back. That's the whole day. That's the life of a flight attendant. Where have you been? New Orleans. Are you wearing a skirt? Yeah, but it's the heels that'll kill you. I'm going to bed. I'm supposed to fly to Boston in the morning. Well, Phoenix, then Boston. This girdle doesn't help either. Oh, you wouldn't believe the dream I had last night. You were trying to kill me. Well, I'm off to Phoenix. No, you're off to our neighbors to return their stuff you stole. That's another dream I had. It wasn't a dream. Those nighttime nuggets helped you spread your wings and fly all right, right into people's houses. Wow. The lunk method's more powerful than I thought. Ugh, my replacement Nobel Prize. <laughs> now you've got two of them. Hello, I'm Mrs. Porky Bunny. If there's one thing I love, it's carrot cake. Oh, I start out with garden-fresh, homegrown carrots, the big kind. Then I add a pinch of sugar, a hint of vanilla, and most importantly, a whole lot of love. Save room for Mrs. Porky Bunny. I did. Mm. 
Does this look like something you'd wear to a wedding? Yeah, if you're the bride. Well, it's all I had. Do you have anything I could borrow? The invitation says formal attire. Then wear a tuxedo. Too constricting. Ooh, can I borrow your new watch? It'll make me look important. Like I have lots of meetings. Always have to know what time it is. Would you like to dance? I really love to. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.